Very well, in this video we are going to start with the first section of our character and it is the skin texture. For this texture we already know how to load different colors and the two colors we are going to load are the basic tone of the character and the color of the skin shadows. What we are going to do in having selected the base color is that we go to the color tab and we select the option that says fill object. We are going to make a material change because this material is not, is not going to serve us. And I suggest you the skin shape 4. You can use any of the brushes to paint, there is no problem. Deactivate a moment uh, C add and only keep RGB activated. And what we are going to do in this case is that we are going to start painting the divisions that are between the muscles with the darker tone. We are going to do this to paint the cavities as such. We are going to generate an extra volume for our character so that it doesn't look so flat, do not look like a single color, so that it's seen with different shades. Generally, when I am painting, what I do is that I paint the parts, the lower parts of each muscle with a darker tone. This way, uh, I can give it some gradation from the lighter tones to the darker tone. I'm going to paint this muscle over here. Here what I basically do is to throw brush strokes up to start giving it the color gradation. And obviously we don't have to have only one tone. We can give several strokes to give some colors much darker than others. This way, one by one, we are going to paint the different muscles of our character. Here are the biceps. We put a little to this line to make it look darker. Here we will also make some shades. It's good that every one of the muscles has these divisions, these darker shades, so that some extra volumes are noticed. That are not noticed only with the sculpture. We're going to do our own here, obviously on the other side. Back here. These fibers so small of the pectoral should be done with a small brush so that it doesn't leave us very large shadows. It's good that they are a little more detailed. In the case that we got a lot of a tonality, we simply change to the basic tonality or the basic tone of the skin and that will serve us in some way as an eraser. As here in Seabrush there is no eraser, this technique is very useful. We continue here with the serratus and the obliques. We can change momentarily the material that we are using to one that is called a flat color. This, what basically will do, is that it gives us the real color of the character. 
it will not have highlights, it will not have shadows, but only the colors that we are painting. And that will allow us to see how well are the shadows that we are painting. If maybe there are patches or if the gradations are being painted correctly. So it's convenient to review that flat color material from time to time. It's very useful and I recommend it a lot. Paint these cavities and what I know as Adam's apple. Again, the flat color. To see how it is going, we can see that in the clavicle we lack a bit of tonality and simply we start to pay. Here in these cavities is convenient to leave it a little darker so you can see the depth better. We go also with the trapeze and we repeat exactly the same process. We make strokes outwards as such to start giving the feeling of gradation. The center as such is the part that is going to be darker and as we move the color toward the inside of the muscle it will be vanishing. This process is only to give some basic shadow. We do not have to perfect the shadows because later we will add other details that will make it look much better, much more correct as the texture of the skin. Well, here are the back of the deltoid. and the other side too. Try also not to extend too much to the inside of each muscle because if not it will be starting to get very dark and that personally I do not like those muscles uh, too dark. So that the shadows cover so much I really don't, don't like. We paint a little these divisions between the deltoid muscle and we continue with the trapezius again. Here as such, the muscle volume will serve as a direction to know exactly where the strokes are going. It is good too to use this flat color mode to begin to better match these gradations of the muscles or the cavities. Many times with the material we are using, because of the light and all that, we can't see some shadows. It's somewhat difficult. So to match this with flat color is a very good idea. Here, for example, in the clavicle, we were needing some more color and this same too we can do in the arms. Exactly the same process we are using here of painting the division between muscles we will do too in the arms. 
Well, here in the pectoral we need some more over here. Okay, let's see the back. I think we can fix a bit here. It is a little dark. And we continue to mark in more the divisions that are not too defined, but that the divisions between the muscles are, are noticed. And now we can continue with the arm. And with this arm, we are going to use the, exactly the same process. Simply, it is also like thinking exactly in which areas there should be some shadows. Some tones over here. On triceps. Here in the inner part of the triceps. And we continue to make the divisions between the muscles more marked. Here in the inner part, obviously, we are going to paint some shadows. And the same for the palm. With the hand, it is good that the lower part, as such, we get a little darker than the top. Here between the tendons. And the lower part of the finger. Here with the elbow, we use a smaller brush because we are going to paint the wrinkles. And not only these ones, but also the ones in the hand. All these little wrinkles in the hand that are very little, we paint them with a smaller brush so they get a little more defined than the shadows we are painting. And also, obviously, the upper part of the fingers. The wrinkles, also with a smaller brush, we start to get them darker, but be careful to not exaggerate too much. Here are the knuckles. And we are going to paint a bit like a shadow on the lower part of the fingers to make them look a little dirty. That they do not look so clean. Same in the palm. Let's smooth a little the color. Here, for example, in the finger interception, we are going to make it a little darker too. And we are going to paint as such the nails. We are going to paint a little the outline of the nails until we get our result as this one. What we want at the end is to have a character as this one 
which you can see the muscles being divided by these shadows. Your homework is the next one. With what we do with the body and the arm, you are going to paint the other arm so we'll have totally finished the torso and the arm. This is all for the moment. See you in the next video.